Hello everyone, welcome back to Wasteland Savior. Today is Wednesday, my name is Kyle and this is Hipster Jesus. And we are in Diamond City because... Last episode we caught up and dealt some punishment to... Uh, what's his face? Kellogg! We ate him for breakfast. Uh, cereal of champions. All right. Um, I'm going to see if this see chick's got. got any copper. Uh, we are in Diamond City because we need to meet with, um, I can't think of his name. Nick. We got to meet with Nick, uh, over at, uh, Piper's Place. Piper's Place. Some nice, uh, <laughs> nice popping my peas for you. Uh, public Occurrences. That's the name. We're meeting up with him to tell her about the whole Kellogg fiasco and see what she has to say about it. Well, well. Well, well, well. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. That is a good freaking simile. Like acid rain down the sewer. That's good. What's the story? Well, we could use some help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. Bastard. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Mm-hmm. Weird and hated by everyone. Especially me. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. What's that? Where the Institute actually is. Aha. Uh -huh. Or how to get in. Exactly. She states the question. Nick's got the answers. Hell of a team. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. So he had access to the Institute. A man like that would have had access in and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Yeah. Because he's rotting in hell. And Jesus fucking because put him there. Hell, where he belongs. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He did get nuked, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I'd do it over and over again. Because that, that is religious justice. Eye for an eye. Or in this case, giant dose of explosive radiation for stealing a son. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. You know, oh you fuck you guys. The man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Oh really? Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Doctor Amari, the mind behind the memories. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. You're right, Nick. Let's see. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. That's a good point. Well, I've already got something off his body. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Thing. thing. Huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running Brain the train. So oh, Piper. Who's coming with that? I have to go to the memory den either way, but I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Yeah, let's go, Nick. Me, Nick. Sorry, Piper. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Thanks, well, Nick. You are out, I'm gonna You're a good guy. I'll be here if you need me. Don't worry, Piper. I won't ever ask you to accompany me. The temptation is just too strong. I'm sorry. But as the son of God, I'm... 
as the, as the son of God. Anything I can do? I. You just say the word. I need to go. <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here. <sighs> good times, good times. Okay. Good. Yeah, dude, I saw that. You saw it too? You? Did you see it too? Fucking step off. Anyways, Nick. Let's go to good neighbor. Like a good neighbor. The something, something. Okay. Yeah, that's not really working out. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not, like, missing out on any quest lines currently. Okay, I think I'm good to punch it on over to G neighbor. I don't think I, I haven't been to good neighbor yet. Holy Moses. Well, this will be an experience. Good neighbor is uh is an interesting place. I like that tooltip. Free your mind. That's a cool model. Being a designer on one of these games must be a lot of fun. Wow, at that loading time. <laughs> Welcome to console fallout, everybody. Uh, yep. Holy crap. There must be some shit going down. Is there? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh, over this way. What is? What was that symbol I just saw? It's like a swan. Eh, we'll go there later. Okay. Hello? Oh, great. I am not amused with your shenanigans. There we go. Handling it like a pro. Old granary burial ground, huh? Franklin! Hey, gunner. Okay. Sure, 10 mil. I'll take it. I shall take. Is there anything in here? Bobby pin. Bramin meat. Excuse me. Um, okay. F it. Let's giddy up. Shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't hear shit. Yeah, those noises. Just noises, and they are very stupid. You gonna... You gonna do a thing? Or nah? Aha. Damn it, Nick. Nick, you stupid. Shit. There we go. Okay. This pistol is way too good. I shouldn't even be allowed to use this thing. Thank you. Oh, pipe rifle. I shall take it for the copper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is there anything interesting in here? I know, I know, we gotta get to good neighbor, but to, oh god, frame rate. I'll take your femur out of spite. Get fucked. Oh, I forgot to. Yes. 
I was thinking about doing Bible verses, like naming these things, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't feel like reading the Bible. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like looking up Bible verses. Uh, not because I'm afraid of offending somebody. I just don't. Oh, God. I just don't feel like uh, looking up Bible verses. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyways. So I, I am going to come up with, like, religion related names for these weapons though because it only makes sense like I'm thinking about calling my shotgun the holy fire um, just a name that crossed me mind crossed me mind got anything in the turlets I've been playing uh, seven days to die because I saw that it got a huge update um, to a new, like a really big new alpha version. And uh, that game is pretty awesome. Still holds up. Okay. Pipe revolver. I don't know if those will get me what I want or not. Oof. Hi, Nick. Excuse moi, je ne sais pas. Nice. No fall damage for me. Over here, is this where I want? Oh boy. Is this an entrance into Good Neighbor? No. Where's the entrance? Here we go. Good Neighbor. All right. Made it with time to spare. No problemo. You know, when this game first came out, actually before it even came out, people were complaining about the graphics, which the game isn't even out yet, so like 100% fuck you. But I think this is a pretty decent looking game. I mean, it's not, well, well, well. you know, it's not blowing, it doesn't blow you away, but they definitely have a consistent style that they, that they went with and it carries through the entire game and in every area. We're working together. We're working together, yeah. Really? Well, you're in luck. I, got a I think while I'm here, I should talk really raspy. Partners of the great gumshoe here. I'm listening. Insurance. I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. I don't think you want to fuck with the holy fire. And you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock. What do you care? He ain't one this guy is cool as shit. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh shit! Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. We all ah, damn. Better. You killed him. Got a good pair of <laughs> eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Except for people who don't feel like people should be welcome. They're not welcome. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. Dude, I'm hipster so Jesus. I was cool before it was cool. Peace out, my brother. Dude, I want his outfit so hard. Oh, I'm not carrying my trench coat anymore, am I? Damn. That's a bummer. Okay, Nick, where are we going? Hey. Going into Daddy's discounts. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very you let me know if anything catches your fancy. Uh, all right. What do you got? Minutes to browse. Cash or trade? Let's get started. Okay. Plasma thrower. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's like a flamethrower, but just plasma. That sounds really cool. 
Wow, that sounds awesome. I kind of really want that. Uh, what else? Tactical incendiary automatic plasma pistol, I'm assuming is what that is. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of ads. Okay. Yeah, give me your plasma thrower. I'll get rid of some of this crap. Uh, revolver rifle. That was just a revolver. I don't think that'll get me any caps or any copper. I want to keep these for the copper. Um, ah, the good old buff jet. Always saving me from spending caps. Thank you. Plasma thrower. Let's, let's check this guy out. That looks awesome. Okay, I don't I don't know if people will start shooting at me, but quick save. I also don't want to actually waste ammo. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Nick, this weapon's awesome. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's super cool. Holy crap, Ola! Please and thanks. That is so awesome. I'm going to be using that. That's for sure. I wonder if the flamethrower thing is counted as a large weapon. Because I know there's a specific skill tree for large weapons that you have to spec into. Oh. Guns, guns, guns. More guns. Hello. Hi. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Perfect. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I respect that in my robots. Let's see what you have. Let's get you outfitted, killer. <laughs> oh, flatterer. Okay. He did super sledge. It's kind of cool. Machete. Um, uh, snipper rifles. Combat sniper rifle, that's interesting. Uh huh. Party starter, 50% more damage against humans. Wow. That's not when I use rocket launchers, though, so that's not really optimal. That is one of the named ones, though, which is kind of neat. How much was that? Eight and a half thousand? God dang. Okay, okay. A walking cane. Maybe later. <laughs> A green hood? Ooh. Ooh. That green hood is pretty cool, I bet. Pick that up. Reflects 10% of melee damage back. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Power armor frame. Oh. Oh, really? Just an extra frame? That's interesting. Shipment of copper. Mmm, baby. Oh, girl, you know what I like. You know just what I like. Okay, let's sell those. Um... Um, my mods, I can get rid of those. That was helpful. And then let's sell 111 38 rounds. Sigh. Boom. Nailed it. Oh, that shipment of copper is awesome. Okay. Sorry, anyways. Moving on here. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Girl high five. Uh. Ah, the memory den. What? He needs something to take the edge off? Fred Allen. Hotel Rexford. 
He'll hook you up. Thanks for the rat. Okay, memory den. Seems to be in a reputable part of town. <laughs> I bet this place is pretty legit. Ah, this place is cool. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the song. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Nicholas. Downstairs. You've been flirt. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Okay, thanks. Nice dress. Whore. <laughs> What if I just walked around like mercilessly slaughtering raiders and all these people and then anytime someone with a low cut top or whatever is around me, I'm like, you fucking whore. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, Kellogg's brain. We need your help, doctor. Your brain on Kellogg's. I the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Hey, look, let's forget about the ethics. I'm Jesus. You can forget about ethical questions. If I'm asking you to do something, it's probably okay. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific <clears throat> secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Yeah. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Oh, I have it with me. Here's what I could find. Awkward what smile. Is this, <laughs> this is the brain? This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? What if every time you looked at something closely, you held it like that, like way up in your face, like, uh? From what I've seen, all What if, guys? What if? Architecture. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute Technology <clears throat> being Goodness gracious. Is, My nose is all stuffy. Because it was cold today. An incredible to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Aw, Nick. Thanks, man. Thumbs up. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. Nick is such a good guy. Right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. If only robots could go to heaven. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. Let's get a close up on this animation. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? <laughs> There's a lot of flashes. <laughs> Static. I, I didn't know she was a Jedi doctor. My God. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are Ooh. encoded. It appears that Thanks. The institute has thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Okay, sorry, huh? Uh, any way to break Tell it? Me <laughs> way to Let me think. <laughs> sorry, I was a little busy robbing you blind over here, my bad. For a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions and power. Mm. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Hmm. I don't know. God, what do you think? My son, you must do whatever the doctor says. I'm, I'm, I'm a little busy doing cosmic shit right now. You handle your own shit. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, no, I was talking to my dad. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. 
Okay. Whoa, a little close there, Nick. Oof. Sorry, I'm not done robbing you yet. Give me a moment. Right away. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll only I'll I'll want a toy. Shut up, Nick. Uh yeah, uh-huh. Okay, good. No, this is all good. Yeah, when I'm ready, right, exactly. Not before. Just when Ooh, Rob go fun! Grognak the Barbarian Holotape game. Buff out, dirty water, shit garbags. Okay, cool. I wish I could get that cooking pot, because I bet that has caper in it. Okay, well I guess I'll have to sit down in this chair next time on Wasteland Savior. We'll wrap up the week by diving into this matrix simulation. I'll get jacked in. Right, Doc? And Mr. Valentine will need to load into the memories together. Take a seat. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so I will see you guys next episode.